Good day everyone. Welcome to my learning channel, Surfax Learning Channel. Today, we will learn Mathematics 8 with Teacher Arlene. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell on para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong videos. Happy learning! Good morning! Today, I'm going to present to you how to multiply rational algebraic expressions. Just like multiplying simple fractions, so we simply multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. But before that, you have to simplify first the factors by Canceling the common factors to both numerator and denominator. To do that, of course, we need to factor both numerator and denominator of the given rational algebraic expression. So, let's do that. Find the product of 5x squared over 3 times 3 over 15x. Okay. First thing, we have to factor the two rational expressions. So, this 5x squared can be written as 5 times x times x over 3, our denominator, times the other expression, 3 over 15x. This 15x can be written as 3 times 5 times x. Now, after factoring both expressions, we can cancel what common to both numerator and denominator. Remember, when we cancel, the expression becomes 1. Okay, okay. so as here, as you can see, we can cancel... Here, we can cancel 3. And this 3 will become 1. Because 3 over 3 is equal to 1. Okay, next, we can cancel here x x over x is also 1. And another, we have 5 over 5, which is also equal to 1. So, after canceling all common factors to both numerator and denominator, we may now multiply whatever the remaining term in our numerators and denominators. So, we have here x in our numerator. So, x in the numerator and in the denominator, we have 3. The answer is x over 3. Okay. So next, let's take this example. Find the product of x squared minus x minus 2 all over 5x times 10x over x plus 1. Again, before we multiply this, we're going to factor both numerator and denominators to see if we can cancel any expression or any terms. So, this quadratic trinomial will be factored as two binomials. Remember, we discussed before how to factor. So, to factor this, we need to think of numbers wherein if we will multiply, negative 2, and if we're going to add, will give us negative 1, the numerical coefficient of the middle term. So, what are those numbers? Of course, the first term of each factor will be x. Numbers, where in if we will multiply, negative 2, meaning we're looking for two numbers with different sign because if we will multiply, negative will be the product. So, what are those? We have 1 and negative 2. Let's check first. 1 times negative 2, that's negative 2. But if we're going to add 1 plus negative 2, that's negative 1. Okay, correct. Now here, 5x can be written as 5 times x times the other expression. 10x here can be written as 2 times 5 times x. 
over our denominator which is x plus 1. So as you can see, we have common factors to our numerators and denominators. So let us cancel that. And remember, whenever we cancel, that fraction becomes 1. So we have here the quantity x plus 1 times over x plus 1. That becomes 1. And then, what else? We have 5. 5 over 5, that is also equal to 1. And another x over x, that is 1. So, we have cancelled all common factor in the numerator and denominator. Finally, let us multiply the remaining. We have here the quantity x minus 2 and 2. So, we have 2 times the quantity x minus 2 in our numerator. And in the denominator, we have nothing is left. So, that means 1. 1 times 1 times 1, we have 1. But remember, if the denominator of a fraction is 1, we don't need to write it anymore. Meaning, the answer will be 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Or, just multiply this. 2 times x, we have 2x. And 2 times negative 2, we have negative 4. So, the final answer is 2x minus 4. So, that's how we multiply rational algebraic expression. Next, we will proceed to division of rational algebraic expression. Since you already know how to multiply rational algebraic expressions, it will be easy for you how to divide it. Because the rule is, just multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So, we will multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Let us do that. Okay, since it involves multiplication, we have to simplify, we have to factor first both numerators and denominators. So, let's take this example. 36 over 5 divided by 24 over 31. So, let us first factor both numerator and denominator. This 36 can be written as... Um, Let's have 3 times 12. This 35 can be written as 5 times 7. Now, this 24 can be written as 2 times 12. And this 21 can be written as 3 times 7. So, after factoring it, what we're going to do is to copy the dividend. Of course, in the expression... 36 over 35 divided by 24 over 21. This one, 36 over 35 is our dividend. And 24 over 21 is our divisor. So what we're going to do is to copy the dividend. The dividend is, or oh, in factored form, we have 3 times 12 over 5 times 7. So, 36 now is written as 3 times 12, and 35 is written as 5 times 7. So, according to the rule, we're going to multiply this. This is our dividend. We will multiply this. Instead of dividing, we will multiply. Okay, from division, we will change it to multiplication, and we're going to get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, reciprocal meaning to say the denominator will become the numerator and the numerator will become the denominator. So, the denominator 3 times 7 or 21 or 3 times 7 will become the numerator. That is 3 times 7. And the numerator 24 or 2 times 12 will become the denominator. See? This is the dividend. And we will multiply it to the reciprocal. Reciprocal of the divisor. So, since it is already multiplication, we will now apply the rule in multiplication. We can cancel first what is common to our numerator and denominator, if there is. So, we have here 12 over 12. Another is 7 over 7. 
Do you see any common factor to our numerator and denominators? Well, let us multiply the remaining factors. So, in our numerator, 3 times 3. That is 9. And in the denominator, we have 5 times 2. That is 10. Meaning, the quotient is 9 over 10. So, see? If you know how to multiply, it will be easy for you to divide. So let's take this example, number 2. Okay. So, we have the dividend. 4 over 24x plus 4 divided by the divisor 4 over 30x plus 5. So first thing, we will copy the dividend. Copy the dividend 4 over 24x plus 4. And we will multiply this. Multiply the dividend. Multiply the dividend by the reciprocal. So, we're going to get the reciprocal. Okay, reciprocal. Reciprocal of the device. We have 30x plus 5 all over 4. So, next to that is we have to factor, of course. So, we have 4 over the factors of 24x plus 4. We can get the common factor, which is 4. Take it out. Remember, this 24x can be written as 4 times 6x. And this 4 can be written as 4 times 1. So I have here the common factor which is 4. Take it out and put inside the grouping symbol the remaining factor. 6x plus 1 times the other expression. But this 30x can be written as 5 times 6x. And this 5 can be written as 5 times 1. So as you can see, 5 is the common factor. Take it out and put inside the grouping symbol the remaining factor. 6x plus 1 all over 4. So this dividend is already written in this form, naka factor form na. And 30x plus 5 all over 4 is now written as 5 times the quantity 6x plus 1 all over 4. From here, we can now see the common factor. So we have 4 and 4. 4 over 4. We can cancel that. Next, the quantity 6x plus 1 and the quantity 6x plus 1 in the denominator. So, after that, after canceling all common factors, let us now multiply the remaining factors. So, this becomes 1. So, we have 1 times 5 is 5. Here becomes 1 also. Times 4, we have 4. So, the quotient is 5 over 4. Okay. So, this time, let's have another example. Okay, let's take 6x plus 27 all over 18x squared plus 36x divided by 16x plus 72 all over 2x plus 4. Okay, first step, we're going to copy the dividend. And we're going to multiply this with the reciprocal of the divisor. But before we copy the dividend, let us first factor it. So, 6x plus 27. We can factor this using common monomial factor. 6x can be written as 6, I mean 3, times 2x. And this 27 can be written as 3 times 9. So, as you can see, the common factor is 3. 
take it out, we have 3 times the quantity 2x plus 9. So, here it is. Next, the denominator, 18x squared can be written as 18 times x times x. And this 36 can be written as 2 times 18 times x. Obviously, the common factor is the 18x. So, if we're going to take out the common factor, 18x, Okay, let's put inside the grouping symbol the non-common factor x plus 2. And we will multiply this. This is our dividend in factored form. We will multiply this by the reciprocal of the divisor. But before we get the reciprocal, let us factor this first. So, 16x plus 72. By common monomial factor again, 16x can be written as 8 times 2x. And the 72 can be written as 8 times 9. Okay. So, the, the common monomial factor is 8. And since we're, we need to get the reciprocal, this numerator will become the denominator. Okay. We have 8 times 2x plus 9. And here, the denominator of the divisor will become the numerator here. But 2x can be written as 2 times x, and this 4 can be written as 2 times 2. Now we can cancel the common factor, which is 2. I mean, we can take out the common monomial factor, which is 2. That is 2. And then put the grouping symbol, inside the grouping symbol, the remaining factor, x plus 2. x plus 2. Okay. So, we're done factoring it. Okay, we will multiply now this dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So, we can cancel all the common factors. We have here 2x, the quantity 2x plus 9. The quantity 2x plus 9. Another is the quantity x plus 2 and the quantity x plus 2. Do you still see any common factor? Okay. Yes. This 3 and 18 can still be simplified. Okay. So let us first copy so that you will not get confused. 3 over 18x times 2 over 8. Okay. This 3 can be written as 3 times 1 or just 3. And 18x can be written as 3 times 6x times 2. That is 2 times 1 or just 2. And 8 here, 2 times 4. So from here, we can cancel this. Remember, 3 over 3 will become 1. Another is 2 over 2. This will become 1. So, after canceling it, we, we may now multiply the remaining factors. In our numerator, what is left is 1. So, 1 times 1, 1. And in the denominator, 6x times 4, we have 24x. So, this is the quotient.